150 years ago this month, Haddonfield produced an amazing discovery, the world's first nearly complete dinosaur skeleton. Haddonfield's Hadrosaurus, today New Jersey's official state dinosaur, prowled the earth some 80 million years ago. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan leads us on an expedition. The animal whose fossilized skeleton came to light here has lots of fans today. Some 80 million years after its death, children leave toy dinosaurs in tribute. Haddonfield residents have celebrated their Hadrosaurus fulci with a scaled down but still imposing sculpture. Philadelphia's Academy of Natural Sciences, which mounted the first public display of this or any dinosaur skeleton, has done it again, using casts from the original fossils and the latest scientific ideas and methods. And Ryder University paleontologist Bill Gallagher put hadrosaurs on the cover of his book, When Dinosaurs Roamed New Jersey. The discovery took place originally in 1838 when a group of marl pit workers mining marl on the banks of this little tributary to Cooper River over here found a bunch of old dark hard bones in the marl mixed in with seashells. The real discovery and excavation took place in 1858. Using a map from the period, Gallagher has determined that the actual excavation site was down in this part of the ravine, just a few paces from this modern pumping station. It came about when farm owner John Hopkins mentioned the earlier finds to a visitor, William Parker Folk, who asked if he could dig for more. In a wonderful turn of Victorian phrase, Hopkins granted him with prompt liberality permission to uh, engage in excavation. Folk called in local marl diggers and Philadelphia's foremost paleontologist, Joseph Lydy. And in December of 1858, 150 years ago this month, he announced the discovery to the world and he named it Hadrosaurus folkii. And in Hadrosaurus folkii, they had some 48 bones and teeth of a dinosaur, more of a skeleton of dinosaur than had ever been discovered before. So this was an extremely significant and important discovery. And it allowed Lydon to make some interesting new speculations about the posture and movement of dinosaurs. So this is where we get our image of the two-legged semi-erect dinosaur. Lydon was the first person to propose this. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Haddonfield.